What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. So today we're going to be covering one of the hottest topics in Minecraft right now and that is where to find diamonds in the new 1.17 update. So a lot has changed in the new update as far as mining goes. We now have deep slate, we have copper, we have new textures and a bunch more. But everybody is now asking where do we find diamonds? And today we're going to take a look at the best ways in fact to do that. Before we get into it though, if you enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like down below and if you're new to our channel, definitely hit that subscribe button because we are covering everything Minecraft. So let's get right into it. So as you can see, I've got a beacon down here at Y6 and I've already found some diamonds here, but I've also found a pretty massive lava lake. Uh, I did some digging around here just to kind of show you guys what Y6 is really like. There are of course deep slate blobs. You're going to find those anywhere from Y0 to Y16 and there's no way to get around those really. For the time being, Deep Slate is something that we have to just deal with. Uh, it's not going anywhere anytime soon and you're just going to find it anywhere from Y0 to Y16 and that's just going to change mining in general for you. Uh, strip mining is definitely going to be a lot tougher with that Deep Slate and it's going to take you longer to find diamonds, but the diamonds have also changed slightly in their generation. So if you've seen other YouTubers videos on this topic, uh, possibly uh, Isuma's, who has done a video with a lot of statistical research on where diamonds are, he saw that there was actually a 35% increase in diamonds if you went and mined at Y6. Of course, mining at Y6 and getting 35% more diamonds sounds like a great thing, but I'm kind of thinking it's not as great as it seems because as you see here, Y6, there's going to be a lot of lava that you have to deal with and it's not really going to help you in any way find diamonds. Finding more lava is going to increase your time and I think overall it's actually going to decrease the amount of diamonds that you end up finding. 35% more diamonds is of course a large jump and something that we really need to consider but there are also a lot of other mi mining factors that we have to consider. Firstly is lava lakes. So as you've seen as we're mining around here on Y6 there's a lot of lava lakes. And if we go ahead and hop into spectator mode we can actually zoom around this whole area and see where the lava lakes are and how frequently we're going to find them. As you can see with my F3 menu open, I'm on Y5, Y6 area, so we're going to find a lot of lava lakes, and this is the 35% increase area where you're going to find more diamonds. Of course, as you can see, it is very frequent with lava lakes. You're of course going to get some time uh, in between those lava lakes to mine, probably find a bit more diamonds than you would at any other level, but you are going to run into those lava lakes and it is going to cause issues. Of course, if we go up to Y11, we are going to actually be right above those lava lakes uh, like we were previously, but now we can easily bridge or use water to get across them. If you saw our last video, uh, the comparison of strip mining in 1.16 compared to 1.17, uh, I strip mined at Y11 uh, for an hour each and I actually found basically the same amount of diamonds. So nothing has really changed as far as those levels go. But if we look at this right here, we can see that we're going to find a lot of lava if we go any lower than Y11. Fortunately, another positive of Y11 is we're going to bust into more caves. And caves are generally where you're going to find most of your diamonds in this new update because they're going to be exposed to air and around that whole area. Finding diamonds is of course our main focus of today's video and as you can see here after busting into a cave I quickly found diamonds. Of course this one was only a set of two but there are also a lot of other ores, lapis, things like that that you need in your world so busting into caves is very beneficial for that as well. I don't know about you guys but mining and busting into lava lakes constantly would really annoy me and make me not want to mine as much so mining at Y11 would actually keep me more interested in mining for longer because I'd also have to deal with caves, finding diamonds in there, and it would actually keep me more entertained for a longer period of time rather than just grinding at Y6 and dealing with lava constantly. Of course, there are currently more diamonds at Y6, but I don't think that is a big enough increase to have to deal with the lava and everything else you're going to find at Y6, rather than what you have to deal with at Y11. I still believe that Y11 is your best bet for finding diamonds, not only because you're going to be on top of the lava lakes, but you're also going to be busting into better caves and not having to deal with the time consumption that is lava. 
Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Would you rather mine at Y level 6 and deal with the lava lakes, or would you rather go up to Y11 and go through caves and find diamonds that way? Let me know what you think, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like on it. Also, if you're new to the channel, definitely be sure to subscribe. We're of course covering the new 1.17 update, and we're covering a lot of Hermitcraft content at the moment. We'll soon be back to covering mods as soon as mods start becoming more available for 1.17. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.